Now it's not very convenient to hide and show entities every time a visibility test is performed. If we assign a collision type to the cube, enable collisions between type 1 and itself, and specify a collision type for the visibility test, the test will be performed on only the cube mesh. So here I've said that the entity type for the cube is 1, and I've set the collision response for uh, collision type 1 and 1 to 1, which means a collision will occur. And then down here, uh, in the point visible command, I've specified a collision type of 1. So now when I move the cube out of the way of the raycast, uh, the visibility test returns 1, meaning that the points on the left and right are visible to each other and the two spheres are being ignored. Our last method for controlling raycasting is to use a callback. And this gives you the most control because you can just, this gets called for every single entity and you decide whether it should be tested or not. So in our pick filter function you can see that we're saying if the entity being tested equals the cube, which I've made a global variable here, then we should return 1. If the entity being tested is not the cube, then it will return 0, meaning that the entity should just be skipped. And then down here I'm passing the pointer to the pick filter function. And we can see again when I move the cube out of the way of the ray, then the visibility test returns 1. There's one more technique I want to show you, and that's camera picking. The camera pick command will take screen coordinates and transform that into a point, and then it will perform a ray cast between the camera position and that transformed point. So you can see here I'm giving it uh, the mouse X and Y positions and then 1000 for the distance from the camera and it will project those coordinates on screen and perform a raycast based on that. And then I've created a material up here and I've colored it red and then when an object gets picked gets picked, I'll just paint it with that material. So you can see now I can pick objects on screen with the mouse. So that's collision and raycasting and in future lessons we're going to be building on these ideas to demonstrate more advanced gameplay mechanics.